Hi, hello. This is going to be shocking for many of you to hear, but did you know that black people are not the only race to have historically experienced slavery? I know this is shocking, but pretty much every civilization in the history of mankind, at some point, their ancestry owns, owned slaves. Because slavery was a worldwide human rights issue for a very, very long time, for many centuries. So it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. Very likely, at some point, your ancestry down the line owned slaves. Doesn't make it right, but that was just the way of the world for a very, very long time. So all these comments like, you're not black, you can't speak about slavery. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Slavery was a human rights issue across the world, across all races and all civilizations for a long time. And the United States was one of the first countries to abolish it very quickly and efficiently. So all the comments about being a non-black person, you can't speak about slavery. Every single civilization has experienced slavery at some point. 400 years was very quickly and very efficiently. And uh, fighting one of the most bloodiest wars in the country history is known as being quickly and efficiently. Lost in the sauce of patriotism, huh? And this is her rebuttal in defense of saying abortion is worse than slavery. <laughs> oh, my mama. This is one of the greatest illustrations of conservative contradictions. Now, being anti-abortion is literally the same position that Mass and them took because Mass felt like, hey, you better have that damn baby. I need that label. You see what I'm saying? But we also can recognize that the entirety of the pro-life movement is a cheap co-option of the abolition movement in America, which you know what it's about? chattel slavery involved in enslaved black people. Yeah, most of the pro-life movement is literally a cheap carbon copy of the abolitionist movement, which wasn't about servitude, wasn't about prisoners of war, wasn't about that race or that race or that point in history time. It's specifically about chattel slavery in America. Then all these little moves y'all trying in 2022 involving slavery rhetoric and an abortion debate, this right here comes from 1994, right? The slavery metaphor ironically highlights the very problem. In this slavery did not end racial inequities. Freedom in the light of reconstruction era policies turned out to be hollow. Former slave owners deprived of any participation in the process of emancipation realized by subverting the process through unfair contracts, Jim Crow laws, and violence. Just in conclusion too, in conclusion, right? Apart from the hidden racism, there's another problem with the slave metaphor and the abortion rhetoric. It polarizes and shuts down dialogue between the pro-choice and anti-abortion sides of the debate. This polarization, in turn, leads to each side to focus narrowly on the assertion of rights. I already been stated. I already been said. You are co-opting masses' understanding of reproduction and then calling people that your ops and saying that they support slavery. Mental gymnastics, intellectual gaslighting, or the lack thereof. Hi, hello. This is going to be shocking for many of you to hear, but did you know that black people are not the only race to have historically experienced slavery? I know this is shocking, but pretty much every civilization in the history of mankind, at some point, their ancestry owns, owned slaves. Because slavery was a worldwide human rights issue for a very, very long time, for many centuries. So it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. Very likely at some point, your ancestry down the line owned slaves. Doesn't make it right, but that was just the way of the world for a very, very long time. So all these comments like, you're not black, you can't speak about slavery. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Slavery was a human rights issue across the world, across all races and all civilizations for a long time. And the United States was one of the first countries to abolish it very quickly and efficiently. So all the comments about being a non-black person, you can't speak about slavery. Every single civilization has experienced slavery. <laughs> so where we start, man? Uh, she just gave an argument in defense of why slavery was a normalized part of society and that we shouldn't demonize a part of people in her justification of saying Slavery is abortion and that abortion is bad. <laughs> I mean, never mind when she says that slavery is abortion. She's glossing over that massive force to enslave women to have babies because, you know, more babies meant more population and more labor. And I ain't gonna make this video about why we shouldn't use the slave metaphor because it's polarizing and it shuts down dialogue. I ain't gonna make it about that. For the people in the back. The pro-life movement in America is a literal cheap co-option of the abolitionist movement in America, which was about chattel slavery, not about prisoners of war, not about servitude, not about none of that. It was about chattel slavery, which is very particular in its historical context about particular people of African descent. Stop playing these historical gaslighting games. And man, 
wallow and be lost in the sauce of conservative contradictions. Education is elevation, and I'll see you later, damn it.